Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we are coming to you live from the Coruscant Invitational. Invitational. This is the culmination of the System Open Series of 2017, and uh, we're here at the championships. We kind of got a funky format going on here. That's why if you count up some of the lists, you'll notice they're going to be a little bit higher than 200, and uh, we'll explain that in a little bit, but today I am joined by... I'm, my name is Devin Munkhouse, and I'm... Uh I suppose in charge of, I've uh, been elected dictator of the Pro Type Toronto League there uh, out in Toronto. <laughs> That's an official title, huh? Oh, uh, we got you, you got to get business cards. We made. have a ruling council. Okay. <laughs> Currently, I am the public face. <laughs> there you go. So um, let's take a second and uh, thank our viewers here and everybody who makes this possible. Thank you to our patrons. You guys are the number one group of supporters of the Gold Squadron podcast here. We are. Uh, currently in a campaign to reach 400 patrons and we were only a few more people away uh, in order to get uh, reach the goal of 400 and the the prize or the the what, what am I what's the word I'm looking for not prize the uh, the reward to all the patrons the, the reward to all the patrons yes is doing an event overseas so that's pretty cool Thank I've, you. Got a, I've got a surprise for you Dion you do I'm not a patron oh it's okay you know what I can do right now what could you do I could be a patron right now oh that's, he's literally pulling out his phone in front of me. That's patreon.com slash gold squadron. And you got all your options there. And while Devin does that, I want to say thank you to our Twitch Prime subscribers. Literally free money, guys. If you have Amazon Prime, connect it to your Twitch. And uh, we have a video that uh, a link will pop up for in Twitch uh, once in a while here. So uh, Patreon wants to know where I live. Patreon. i got to figure it out. Yep. Where do it's you very go? confused because I live in Canada and I'm currently an American. <laughs> Never hey, mind. Patron. Boom. Boom. He did it. Boom. He did it. Boom. Make sure you put your address in there so I can send you stuff. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. He's I got it. I got know how to do this. Okay. He's, got me, got, he's this ready before. to go. <laughs> Oh, so how many how many patrons do you need now? I have to, I have to look now. Three. Well, no, because I just did it. It's still no, so it's, it was it was it's still thinking. It's still thinking. It's still thinking. Okay, so then that would that would be you two. Need, now, you, now you only need two. Alrighty, and uh, thank you to our round sponsor, Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code CURASANT18 for 15% off of all X-Wing stuff. It's got awesome templates, tokens, all the things. We're and using uh, him for the uh, PTL Open. He's supplying yeah. all of our uh, tokens. Yes. I'm, I'm super, super pumped. Uh, and let's go ahead and break down these lists here. Okay. So on the left, we got Joe Desmond out of California running a five-ship kind of multi-scum swarm. You see him doing his mandatory Boba Fett trigger there. And uh, he has two Jakku gunrunners that are essentially naked because Boba Fett is free. That's it's important got, important to note that listen, he's in got this Bobby format. Feet. That's all you need. And uh, two zealous recruits and old Terok doing his thing. Do you, do you know what I like about these lists? What do you like? There are more ships than upgrades. <laughs> oh, always. There always. are functionally three upgrades in this list, on these lists. Correct. Four? Four. Four. So five, uh, five what? Super, I, I can't count. <laughs> so Paul's flying. Yes. Supernatural reflexes, Luke. And that's it. No nonsense. He's got Jan Ors. He's got Jin or so on that with Moldy Crow. So he's gonna be passing out the evades. Yep. And uh, Leo Organa stuck on Sabine Wren, my favorite attack shuttle pilot, with uh, the Almighty Lieutenant Blount. Boom. Uh, boom. And I think that this is. Uh, these are some efficiency lists. They're stripped down. They're good to go. There's very little upgrades. They're relying on the power of the, the ship titles that we're seeing in 2.0. They're relying on the pilot abilities. I'm excited to see this match. This is going to he rely heavily on flying, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited, man. There's uh, We have two fantastic players here, um, three-time world champion Paul Heaver and Joe uh, this is Joe, who has been lovingly sometimes called uh, Budget <laughs> budget Nathan, uh, if you know that reference, out there in X-Wing land. But uh, both great guys. Thank you to both of them for, uh, for hanging out. So let's go ahead, and uh, we're going to get our Twitch poll up. And you can 
select your champion. Who do you think is going to uh, to win this game? Oh, champion, my champion. Yeah. But Paul Heaver is the people's champion, is he not? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness! I almost spelled Paul's name wrong. Super easy name. There it is. Twitch easy, pulls easy. up. Easy. So let's talk about some uh, some wind conditions here. I'm so confused. Like, I don't even know. Uh, Paul's gonna shoot things. Uh, gun runners probably. Yeah. There. I mean, there's. <laughs> Joe starts with the backup. That's, I mean, choice. <laughs> That's a great move. I love it. Absolutely love the reverse on little these guys. Toot, toot. Then we'll go backwards. There you go. Um, and before I forget, I do, I do want to say thank you to Maze Rim and Chilling Guy 85 for those, uh, those uh, cheers earlier. Thank you so much. This is great, Dion. I think he's, we're going to see some great swarm flying out of Joe Desmond. You know, uh, Paul Heaver is a fantastic four ship rebel player. I'm super excited to see. Um, how the maneuvering goes in this game, I can't even imagine where we're going to end up. So I'm, I'm, I want to learn from this game. I yeah, wanna, this I wanna, is, I wanna this is going to be how great. This broken swarm flies. I want to see how this little. You can, you can. I'm going to draw. Yeah, go that. for it. You can see the little. He's work. He's got a slight offset here, and so that really helps on the banking, keeping everything sort of together, right? And Sabine is out there in the leading corner, right? And that helps because she's got the lowest pilot skill. So on the leading corner, she's gonna move first, mm -hmm. and she can boost and barrel roll before she moves. So as the most maneuverable ship, and you see that happening right here, right? It'll be interesting to see how Paul keeps some information, breaks some information, and uh, gets them in and out of the formation there. I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do. I love Sabine's ability, yeah, it's the, fantastic. The pre-boost you know, boost barrel roll is just, it's fantastic. Now, we're not going to know if, or how is Paul marking if we have X-Files open or closed? Do we have a uh, We can actually see his card. Oh, he's going to flip it here. Okay, yeah. folks. So he's you're going to keep your eyes down here. And he, also, we've got the uh, the force tokens there as well. Mm -hmm. So every, yeah. everything we need is in plain sight, which is nice and easy. What we're going to do for After Joe... the last game with all those charges <laughs> and all those force yes. tokens. and Oh, my gosh. A little bit of an easier game to track here. What we're actually going to do is um, we are going to put our Joe's ships in the order in which he actually has them up there. So he's got Old Tarak. He's all the way at the top. It's going to make this easier for everybody. Doop, doop, doop. There you go. He's got Tarak, then he's got his Zealots, right? Yep. We should name those one and two. Okay, Looks like Luke is jerseyed three. Uh, if we see that target lock pop up, and Sabine is jerseyed two. So there we see supernatural reflexes, and a four forward from Luke. Immediately, I give a little breakdown about how his little pinwheel is going to work, and he immediately breaks it. <laughs> well, you know what, um, Luke, with that supernatural ability, he's able to go all over the place. Right, he can. I'm Just very colorblind, but there's a, a bit of a subtle difference there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I got the one on the left is red, one on the right is purple. You know, I was I was pretty grumpy when they changed the uh, the orange tokens. Okay. From from red to orange. Yeah. Right. Because they were like, oh, we're doing all this stuff for colorblind people so they can see the 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 banks easier, they can see everything easier, and I'm like, the green and the orange look identical to me. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. I'm looking at, I'm going like. At least they're different shapes now. But yeah. Like, oh my God, it's the same color. Oh, Luke doing all the maneuvers. Nothing he could do in 1.0. Boosting, barrel yeah, rolling. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, it feels like an X-wing. An X-wing has gotten significantly more um, maneuverable, which is awesome. Don't forget to participate in Twitch poll, guys. There on the bottom of the screen. Now this is fantastic. We see a little. Paul's built a net of ships around his support ship, who has uh, a large arc of action, mm -hmm. right, where he's able to use his support, bring it in, and uh, we're seeing, uh, you know, Joe spread out, and we're going to see these two waves of ships come together in a very interesting way, and um, they're not they're not jousting, but positioning is going to be very, very important as to, you know, how these players approach the game, and um, I'm, I'm not going to guess, I'm, I mean, we've got some, some big lanes here. 
where we're probably going to see a lot of Joe's ships move through and uh, how Paul interacts with that lane and, and where Luke goes is going to be a very interesting, uh, or I think is going to be important in the upcoming engagement. I mean, certainly Supernatural Reflexes Luke is a very powerful build and Paul has a very lean one, but certainly a very lean one. No, no astromech, no regen, uh, which is what we've been seeing on Luke around today and, and in the, the lead up to this event. So certainly um, it'll be very interesting to, uh, to see how he flies Luke and whether he's going to fly more conservatively than someone who might have a regen astromech. Um, and it looks like we're getting everything numbered. Yep. Getting everything out on the board. That's fantastic there, Dion. Great work. And we've got uh, one. It looks like we've reached end of force charge, and we're moving on to the next round. We've got most of the dials down. Uh, can I, I can't move that. I was trying to move nope. this, but that's not how that works. <laughs> I'll take care of it. I just wanted to see if we had a dial down by Luke and see if it was covering it up. As that's going to be really important. We've got this. Uh, we've got old T here, in uh, his construction digs, <laughs> looking to uh, his match. He's going he's to match those mining guild ties when they come out. Yeah, he's ready. I'm very excited for the mining guild ties. Oh, I've, I've flown a lot of Tie Fighters, Dion, <laughs> and uh, Captain Sevor. I mm. I honestly haven't taken mm, the time tasty. to look at those. I'm still digesting. All, well, of well, all of what the, we got. The wave one and the, the, con the conversion kit. Well, so let's digest what's in front of us. So That's right. So what does Old T do? Old, old T, strips. you know, he strips uh, all green tokens. They did change his ability. Uh, if he's range one in arc, then uh, the defender or the other player, we, we're we up to 398. Two more people, guys. Two more people, patrons. Okay, give you that bump. Give you that bump. Yeah. So that's All right. Thank you to Devin Monkhouse. <gasps> Who's yeah. that? And thank you to Michael. M Mystery Michael. Mystery Michael. That's right. So now we've got Janors down here. Now I was talking about her as a support ship, yep. right? So Janors, when a friendly ship in your arc, right? Oh. Yep. Hold on. I need yeah. to move the... Go do move things. Yep. Uh, performs a primary attack. If you are not stressed, you may gain a stress token. If you do, that ship can reroll an attack yep. die. And do... Um, do watch this. Uh, he has the Moldy Crow. So it's front arc and his pointed arc. So he actually has a 180 degrees of this ability. Yeah. His whole squad. Yeah, as long as it's at range 0 to 3, because they did determine in the rules that uh, in arc means up to range 3. Yeah. It's not just infinitely reaching across the board. So I think that the Hawks are... The Hawks were... Pretty mediocre in 1.0. Yep. Over the whole course of 1.0, they got better and better and better. Paylob saw a lot of play. Jan and, and Kyle were, were, were niche. Mm -hmm. Like we saw, we saw some Hawks in the original fair ship lists. Yes. And, and they have a place. But these new Hawks, they, with all their actions, with all the... I, th I think they have a linked action or two. Yep, they and, uh, link into rotates for most of their actions. Hey, that's great. With the, with They got a boost. They got boost. They got jam. With the uh, Moldy Crow, they got that title where they got the three die primary. It's The Hawk got a huge bump. I mean, the, the Hawk and the Punisher, right? Three Which, is oftentimes more than one. Yes. Right. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> for those for those who may not have played in 1.0 and are watching this as a, a, an intro to 2.0 mm -hmm. or have come back in time to watch it, uh, in 1.0, the Hawk had a one-die primary. Mm -hmm. And turrets were not good for some time. Yeah. Right. So now, Jin Urso is a very interesting upgrade as well. There are very few upgrades, so we can take our time and explain them. Um, Jin Urso allows when a ship performs a focus action or is assigned a focus token, that it may be assigned an evade instead. Mm -hmm. So and, now, And note that it is a sign, not action. There's no action there, so stress doesn't prevent it from happening. Well, it's it's when so if they if I if so if Luke performs a focus action, right? He could get he, an evade, but I'm saying if evade. if he had a way to pass a focus to somebody, which many rebel ships do, right? Okay, I see right. what you're saying. And so here, um, what did we have? We had a barrel roll into a linked action, and then a, a one forward, a one bank. All right. So what I with Luke, I think that's especially is especially powerful. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So Luke doesn't really need a focus. No, he does not. Because he always he's, he's got the force. So Luke's power is while it, while defending or attacking, he or when while defending, he is assigned a, fo- uh, a force token. Yep. So he always has a for- force token on defense. So you can ass- he once he gets that target lock, you can just assign him the evades, and he becomes super tanky. And that's a little maybe maybe Paul's counting on that over regen. And we have Terok coming in. Old Terok coming in, a gr- very aggressive into Luke. Luke hasn't moved yet. We'll see how fast he moves. I'm curious to see what Joe's uh, target priority is going to be here. Whether he just ends up purposely overshooting Luke and just taking out the support chip, get Jan out of it. So we have uh, Old Terok, and Joe is uh, showing Paul what Old Terok does in mm-hmm. 2.0, which I feel is fair. In a tournament like this, so early in the game, so early to the conversion kits that I feel like making sure your opponent understands all of your cards yes. and what interactions are is, is very important. Even at this level of and play. M- making sure that you, you understand it too, right? Making sure you, so you understand it yourself because I know there's a couple of my games where I'll, I'll slip into that old first edition thinking. All right, here's the Supernatural Reflexes barrel roll. That probably means we're getting a bank maneuver of some kind to the left. Yep, Supernatural. He spent it. Here comes the bank. So the focus won't, wouldn't do anything for him, old because old old T. Now where where is his servo motors? They're closed. Yep. No boot. Oh, take target locks. Yep. And he still has range one. Still going to end up being three dice. And again, we've got the moldy crow title. So uh, we're going to have ships above that line have a reroll. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of that then. And Moldy Crow also allowing for the uh, the focuses to be kept. All right, here we go. First attack. No tokens to be stripped because Old Terok is green tokens only. Yep. And uh, the target lock is there's an invisible blue token next yes. to... Uh, target lock from Luke there. Yeah. So are we... Alrighty. And Old Turok is also initiative five. So all these are fives. Looks like Joe is his first player, so he'll be performing the first attack. So it looks like Two uh, one of each. Hit crit. And that's fine. Oh, just all of AIDS. So old Terox abilities at the start of the engagement phase, you may choose one ship at range one, and you have to be in each other's primary arcs, and you can strip all of its green tokens. All right, here is, this looks like. Uh, one, two, three hits with the reroll. Five? What just got shot here? Is this the, maybe you're, isn't Jan the one that gives you extra dice? Uh, oh, you're right. I'm thinking of, um, who did I have? No, Jan does not. Oh, roll additional attack die, not re-roll a die. Yeah. That's why. Gotcha. I was confusing it with Dre Renthal. I think that's what I did. Range three bomb there from uh, Sabine. Let's see what that does. Was there any damage? There must have been damage on Terok. Yeah, Tarot. there was two. Sorry, we were we were looking at other stuff. Let's finish this up here. So here's three well, hits coming in. Oh hit, my hit, gosh, crit. Paul evaded. Oh, there you go. That's one uh, evadey quad jumper. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> it does what it must be done. All right, quad jumper has no range to Sabine, but looks like he might be just be out. All right, and it looks like we're at dials. So the way Paul gets the, the triple actions on uh, Sabine, mm-hmm. right, is before Sabine's ability says, before she moves, she can do a booster barrel roll. Yep. He does that to linked action into an evade. Yep. He does a green maneuver and then performs a focus. Yeah, it's very good. Triple triple action, Sabine. Super good. You end up with three. A wonderful um, little ship. Uh, Silver Phoenix Fire, uh, 1138. So... Uh, the way the Patreon works, just to answer that question here, is there's two charged episodes a month. 
So essentially take the number and double it. Um, and that's detailed in the center description uh, on Patreon. Thank you so much for just taking the time to uh, ask about it. And what are some of the benefits to being a patron? Well, so you get some um, exclusive behind-the-scenes stuff that I post, just like my, my kind of life and antics of, of Dion, what, what things that went wrong. Koi mirror selfies? Correct. All the time. Um, there's tons of swag. I mean, I have all kinds of swag that I, I uh, now, do you ship, ship to Canada? I ship, to, I ship around the world. I know that was an issue for the Minox. Not for me. Oh, that's great. No, not for me. Absolutely. And it's free shipping on, oh, all, hey. on all cards. So, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. absolutely. Snazzy. I mean, you're, you're giving me your hard-earned money, and, um, you know, I, I work the budget and make sure that I can, I can take care of everybody. So everybody gets their rewards for free. The only time we have to charge shipping for overseas uh, stuff is for larger things, but that's usually more stuff down the line, like templates and things like that. We give, like, massive discounts. Oh, that's the other thing. Big discounts on our online store. Mm. Uh, we're going to be releasing our second edition uh, official Gold Squadron podcast templates here, and uh, patrons get fifty percent off Oof. of the of the templates. Got to wow. pay. Got to pay for shipping if it's overseas or you know, what, but, Canada uh, can, or Canada. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to ship to Curl Paw. Yep. This round sponsor. Yep. And we were trying to get them to ship to Canada, and it was like sixty dollars for all the stuff for the open for the PTL open, which is happening in October. Yep. And. Uh, so instead, we shipped it to Niagara. I shipped it to, no, we shipped it to, you know, upstate New York. Someone we knew in upstate New York. It was fifteen bucks. Yep, this is great. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll change my uh, change page, your address. <laughs> I change my address to a buddy in New York. I mean, you saved me a stamp. I mean, <laughs> it, it, the, the stamp is like two and a half times more expensive. All right. So I think Joe was pretty disappointed that he couldn't get the hawk in. Yeah. Range yeah. one and strip you, all you those tokens. To, give me, give me the. Give me those tokens. Now, it's not like 1.0 when you could have like 10 or 12 tokens. Yeah, you can only limit it to two. Pro. But uh, oh, I thought it was three. Two. No? Yeah. Not. Oh, because then you can... You can, you can carry over two. Carry over two, and then you focus, and you have three. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm catching up, Dion. I'm catching yeah. up. People are asking, any spoilers yet for the new alt arts? Um, yes. Yes. So this is going to be a... Um, you know what? Maybe in the break, I'll, I'll pull out the pictures. We'll do that. That might be a little more exciting than me just so talking about So we're seeing, it. you know, Paul's oh, Paul's little protective barrier around Jan move forward, right? And I, I'm I'm really interested to see how how Joe's going to fall on his little his little cluster of ships there. Um, the approach I'm I'm very interested in how quad jumpers are sort of stuck in the middle. Now quad jumpers you usually see them in pairs because you want that redundancy on a ship that mm -hmm. can die or go away. It sort of like makes the their effects last longer in the game. Yeah, and the and tractor beam can be absolutely devastating you know, to be used, and the fact that Joe has two of them. I know it's not going to be uh, doesn't do anything in this game, but the ability to qu quadruple tractor something, making you able to move a large base ship. You need three for that. Um, is up pretty awesome. We were giving the guys some practice reps, and Unkar Plutt rolled up the two tractor beam tokens to a big ship before it moved. Did a one forward, bumped into Unkar Plutt, got the third yes. one. Off it went onto a rock. That was not a happy big ship, Dion. No. <laughs> so being able to move them now is just fantastic. So here we've seen the swarm come in. So we've seen them come in through the two lanes. Yep. Right? Uh, messing up the arrows. I'm pretty bad at that. And then we've got... You know, Paul's ships, none of them yet to move, right? So we're going to have to see how they engage. I find this very interesting how you've got um, the pairs of ships, mm -hmm. right? He's got these pairs of ships, right? And then these ships, I'm going to draw all, and this is going to be a mess, right? Where he's got redundancy on both sides. They're both doing different things, right? The, uh, the fang, the red one at the top, right? He's being very aggressive and out there, and then he can... Uh, set up an attack, do damage, and then the tugs can come in and sort of take the damaged chip, throw it around, set up an attack by Red 2. Yep. Right? Red 2 can have like a supporting attack, and we've got old Terok flanking in from behind. Um, probably not going where I said with a hard 2 there because he moves before Luke. Yeah. And Luke has high supernatural reflexes, so Lord only knows where he'll be. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what the what the call here is with old Terok. I mean, he's kind of in a weird spot. I think the three bank to the left 
does probably fit. Um, you know, you, you three bank, you try to, to chase Sabine there, you'd be able there's, to get around. There's not a lot of good options. No, he's kind of, he's definitely in a weird spot. But taking Terok in, Sabine's going to ha always have a couple of tokens. Mm -hmm. Stripping tokens from her is great. I've seen Juke on Sabine. Um, but the Paul just doesn't have room for upgrades. No. He's like, oh, I'm just going to take great ships and just really lean into the flying. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, Dion and I are, are, are being real quiet when these guys are, are playing because we're mm -hmm. just enraptured in what they're doing. We're like, I want to I wanna learn. I want to learn some stuff, yep. I, I want to trick. All right, so, so he was making a determination there which notch did he want to uh, do the barrel on, either middle, front, or back. Would have taken twice as long at 1.0 with all the yeah. <laughs> gradients of decision. All right, all right so, so here do we is have a bump. Does it fit? Looks like it just no. barely doesn't make it. That's a bump. But a green move clears the stress, keeps the evade. That's where Juke's great, but he doesn't doesn't have the room. Paul off to an early lead with uh, half on Terok. So, oh, three forward instead of the three bank. Oh, two forward. Two forward. He should land just in front of uh, Jan there. So if he sets up the bump on Jan, she's still in his arc, even at range zero. Yeah, it, it loses those focuses. Pop. But I, I think Paul could probably see that coming. We'll see he what he does. Roll. Barrel roll into a focus. That's what all the uh, fangs can do. Uh, yeah, he'd have to go to the right, though. He's touching the template. Oh, he's going to try and boost. Interesting, because Blount's, Blount's been set up. Blount's done. Boost over. Oh, to the left. Yeah, that'll fit. Mm -hmm. That will fit. So he's going to strip Blount's token at the beginning of the engagement phase. And uh, that's a rough position for Blount to be in. Oh, my goodness. But Blount, Blount hasn't moved yet, so. Oh, he's got a focus. Oh, maybe. He, oh, Blount, yeah, you're right. He's initiative four. Blount Sorry. Four. Sorry. Yeah. Lies of the Jedi over here. And so we've got, and we saw in our last game how important it was to get multiple attacks on ships in the same round. And here we've got Red 1 and Old Tarek having range 1, range 2 shots into Lieutenant Blount. Uh, that might be not a great time for him. And you see uh, Joe Desmond piercing Paul's little bubble of ships and uh, taking out the rambunctious <laughs> rambunctious I like it <laughs> LT Blunt uh, who I need to remind myself what the heck he does I think it's when he spends a focus token someone else gets it that's a, a safe rebel bet and that's going to uh, be my you form a primary attack if there's at least one other friendly ship arranged show to one of the defender you may roll additional attack die so he's a three die uh, three ship. die ship yeah if he's an arc I mean that might be that might be tight there Am I uh, messing you up again? <laughs> My apologies. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Again. <laughs> All right. We have Luke getting in there with the tugboats. Uh, that tugboat, I think, is in uh, for a world of hurt. And Jan Ors poodling forward with a two forward. Um, I d Let's see if we get a, an arc rotation here. Uh, remember, her arc is pointed to uh, the starboard side so that's up board. And um, we're going to see, th oh no, we're going to see an extra focus. So she can't shoot old Terok, but Paul may be putting two shots then into uh, the quad jumper. Correct. Lieutenant Blount, no shot. All right, here we go. Oh, no, so they were checking for old Terok, so his tokens will not be stripped. Because All right, you have looks to be like that's both arcs. four hits. That's four hits are two hits. And he spends the focus. And a, uh, three hits and a crit. Going into uh, two, spends a focus. He's going to be taking three. That's two shields and a crit coming in on Blount. Uh, no, is that a hit or a crit? Solid question. I can't tell with these gold dice. I think that's a... We'll find out. I think that's a crit. Well, Blount's up here, and he's taking one damage. 
All right, I'll update the health here in a minute. All right, next attack here. Um, that's two. And got two. Safe. Let's clear that out for you. All right, here's Jan using her ability to give Luke Skywalker another dice. Mm -hmm. So it's five dice into that quad into jumper. Into the quad jumper. Five dice. Noel, does he have a lock out there? Yep. He sure is. He's going to spend it on all those. Sure that, that's does. The right, that's the right choice there. He only has two uh, or one force up right now. Now those quad jumpers, how many shields do they have, Dion? Spends none. They don't like to see those crits. They do not. So that's going to be a hit and a crit, I believe, into uh, that hit. quad jumper. Hit two crits, I believe. Console fire and stun, stun pilot. pilot. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And so console fire is now not next turn. The next time you engage. Which is now. Which is going to be right the heck now. Mm -hmm. So we've got a long bomb there. Range three from Fang two on two. Oh, no, that must be Sabine shooting Fang two. Um, direct, direct hit. Oh, uh, no, sorry. It's still onto the quad jumper. Yep, we're just digging in. It's going to be a second damage there. Uh, he must be on one hull. Mm -hmm. What was the other crit? It was Council Fire and... Stunned, Stunned. Maybe? That sounds right. All right, hit crit. And got it. Ooh, boy. All right, time to see uh, how Joe can respond here. Yeah, Luke has spent both of his... Uh, both force are down, yep. Yeah. Sorry, I, I did a little drawing. Rolling for Council Fire. Blink. Uh, Rolling again for Council Fire. Again. <laughs> also a blank. <laughs> try, try, try. First you don't succeed, try again. Let's clear that out for you. Okay. Now it's all Joe's ships. Yep. Joe's time to shine here. He's got some choices. Do I shoot? You know, he's got two shots on Luke. You got to shoot Luke here. So let's see how many dice we'll know. So Luke's going to get uh, a force back when he's shot at. Yep. And then... I think he's tempting, right? No, I think he's going at the Hawk. Yeah, you're he's right. He's got a shield. Yep. Shield on the Hawk. Interesting choice. Okay, he's going to target Blount now with Fang number one. Hit, Hit crit. Crit. And He's going to get it. That's it. That's Blount. Blount off the board. That's 30 points. Range two from quad jumper number one into Sabine. Does have an evade over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two hits. She's got two evades. Waiting for the response. Just fine. Spend it. Safe. And, we got the and here comes Fang number two at range three. Also at the Hawk. Interesting. Hawk with three of eight and dice at three. Spends for two. Got it. All right, so after this next, uh, after that engagement, Paul's ahead 44 points to 30. Now, uh, well, it's actually not 44 to 30, right? It's, where's the, sh it's actually one less. 43. So uh, there's been a couple people asking in the chat about the format. Let's go through this. Mm -hmm. um, a couple months back, there was a voting uh, segment that happened for each of the factions where essentially they had to pick a card that would be required for each faction to play in in this tournament. For Rebels, it was Leia crew. For Scum, it's Boba Fett crew. And for Empire, it was the Ruthlessness talent card. These cards are free in the list. As many copies as you want. Of course, still following squad building rules. It essentially means free Leia, free one free Boba, one free Leia, and as many Ruthless as you can fit for free. But and I wanted to take two Leias. You can't. Aww, you can't. damn it. So uh, in this list, uh, Paul has Leia Organa. Very cool card we saw used to really good effect in round one that has three charges on it. You can spend all three charges to decrease the difficulty of all red maneuvers for that turn, essentially giving you uh, some free K-turn. You become a defender for a turn. Mm -hmm. Your whole list. <laughs> Your whole list is a defender for one turn. Uh, and those uh, do regenerate, regenerating charges, but you do need three turns to get it back up. So 
most games you're going to see it trigger one time if it's used. In Joe's list, he had Boba Fett crew. He had to place his quad jumper out there at range zero of a obstacle, which he did early on. And, uh, you know, it's... We haven't seen any sort of interesting use of that not on yet. stream yet. We have not. we got to keep trying. <laughs> get more scum on. Get get more, keep, we will always continue to try. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. So I'm very interested to see where these gun runners are going. I think certainly number one is going to tractor beam Sabine somewhere funky which she can then rectify with uh, her pre-position. But again, she'll, she'll still be tractor beamed and still be down on uh, evades. And uh, she has taken a little bit of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly number two, I wonder if he's going to be moving uh, Janors, but I don't know if he does move Janors, what, to what end that might be. Um, Luke is pointed directly at three ships and three obstacles. He's yep. got very few positions to go. Even with supernatural reflexes, he can barrel roll over and then pop up over a rock. But I think this is the turn you just take. You, you take a turn off. Just just bail? Yep. You take a three bank. Yeah. You, you go away. Maybe even close the wings. You boost around. Yeah. And just take your time. Uh, because that may be likely. Yeah. Because the quad jumper, I mean, the quad jumper could, they're, they're all initiative one, right? So I guess you could try to mm -hmm. like back up and try to block Luke, but the problem is that there's no way to take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Like you can't get any arcs on him um, with the position of these other ships. All right, let me go ahead and start moving some stuff. And and Paul's list is very responsive to being tugged around mm -hmm. by these boats because he's got pre-positioning on both Sabine and Luke. Right, two of his three <laughs> remaining ships can attempt to fix what was done to them. Mm -hmm. like, uh, right. let's, let, let's not actually barrel roll that way. Right. <laughs> and so here we go. Here's number one coming in. Toot, toot. I'm a truck. And he's going to do a little target locky action. Joe's missing his target lock tokens. Here we go. Digging for it. There we go. The tractor beam. Tractor beam. Tractor beam her. Interesting. I thought he was going to do it forward, sort of at the rocks. But... Uh, wouldn't it be hilarious if Paul just does Sabine back to the left? Like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. I said no, no thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll see what happens there. Here's the next quad jumper moving around. I'm very interested in this. I wonder if he will do it to his own ship based on the positioning. Oh, that could be interesting. He can now tug uh, either of those Fang fighters, old Terok or the... Uh, now what? That what is? That, that is a this is fine token. That's a that was a red maneuver, so no action there. Oh, I see. He uh, hit the debris. Unfortunate. Sorry, I said red maneuver. He hit the debris when going yeah. through. That's why. Darn. All right, so it looks like this is the turn of trying to get some shots on Sabine. We've Paul says thank you for giving me that extra, extra move. There's a boost. Hunting for the right template. There's a four for forward. Look at her go. Oh, 4K. 4K. 4K la 4K. So it looks like we we'll, might trade some shots here at range through through that debris. Yeah. And it looks like Leia was popped this turn. So uh, no stress. Got the barrel roll. So we're going to pop Leia down to three charges. Th three Two. to zero. Yep. And... Paul Barrel rolls out of arc and does not link into an action. No, he doesn't want to be stressed. He wants his options to be open next turn. Yeah, that's key. And, with and he's not that. getting shot. That's key with Sabine. Yeah, he's not getting shot, so. Well, Tarot could boost maybe, but fair. Mm. Looks like Joe is taking advantage of the fact that he didn't token up. See if he can get a sneak in some damage here at range mm -hmm. three. Probably boost Link into focus. Looks like there's the there's the focus going down. And let's see where Luke is going. Oh no, this is uh, this Jan. Is Jan. Well, they're both high five. Mm -hmm. I made it. I, I gambled. You had a fifty chance. I had a fifty fifty. Paul goes for an evade that using his uh, Jin Urso crew on Jan Ors. 
So he performs a focus action that he can assign himself an evade token. Sounds like he's looks like he's worried about the uh, the Fang Fighter there at range two. Dion, your predictions are coming true. We've got uh, configuration change there on the on Luke Skywalker. He's flopped, closed his wings. He's taken off. Um, he's thinking about pre maneuver. He can now boost because he's closed his wings. Looks like this is the um, so this is supernatural boosts. Mm -hmm. Because he's closed his wings, he can boost, and then uh, 4K probably. 4K also. It's free. It, it. Thank you, Leia. Some uh, brother and sister synergy there that we saw in uh, uh, the first two movies. <laughs> I was wondering which where, <laughs> where I was going. I was like, which one are you gonna go with right now? <laughs> I know you run a, a, a clean stream. I'm not gonna go blue. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll leave that to the viewers at home. I'll plant the. That, uh, that's right. They plant can the think, seed. They can think it themselves. I don't have to say it. All right, it's time to go for some pew pews here. Uh, He's target Paul locking red too. Did the, the lock action? Oh, look at that. Tear rock range three on Sabine. Three dice, one hit, Oof. and no evades. Nothing. So it's going to be taken one. You know, shield down. Damage is a damage. <laughs> it, that's right. Luke and Jan next. Jan actually has a shot this turn. She is. He, Luke is out of arc. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he's in arc, but a outside of range three. So he will be rolling only three dice. One of which is a hit, and... Spends a focus, no damage. Those fangs are so fragile, you just gotta... You, every time. You, you gotta. Especially because that fang... Well, uh, there's the Hawk primary tur turret. It takes a crit. Qu Quaddies don't like crits. Well, he could have taken the hit from Luke and then taken a... Yeah, saved the crit, but you don't know. Well, that oh, the quad jumpers, that was the dead one. He, yeah, he yeah. shot the quad jumper. My apologies. <laughs> I'm always missing the dice. That's all right. I just assume now that I, if I don't, if mm -hmm. <laughs> there's one missing. Yep. I always add one to the total. All right. So, what are they chatting about? We've got Sabine coming in. I think they're counting damage. It's range two obstructed on the Fang Fighter. No tokens. Probably range three to the quad jumper. Here we go. So three dice, one crit. Got yeah, it. Fine. Statistically average rolls lead to statistically average results. And here is red one. Getting shot. Oh, shooting. No. Shooting, yep. Focus Spends a two. focus for two. I mean, there's focus evade over there. Spends focus two. Focus evade. No damage. No damage. Oh, Isaac Carr's telling me we just hit 400. We're over 400. Shout out to the New Brunswick crew there. Isaac's... Uh, We did it! Dion's going somewhere. We did it! You're going somewhere. Holy crap, I'm going somewhere. There you go, oh, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to. Oh. All right. We're, oh, whoo, whoo. We did it. Uh, you know what you needed to do it? You know what you needed? You needed some Canadians. Need some Canadians. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Shout out to the Canadian crew. Thank bringing you. us over the top. Thank you so much. Thank you to, let's get some names out there. East Coast to the West Coast. Thank you to um, where are you guys at? Thank you to Peck six one four, Isaac Carter and Jello Azul. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. There we go. East coast to the west coast. Canada's here for you. We got <laughs> Sea to Sky out there in BC. We've got the the crew out, FFG Star Wars crew out in uh, the Maritimes. Mm -hmm. The junkies in the middle, and uh, PTL sitting there in uh, Toronto, Ontario. We've got uh, Frog Squadron, Quebec City, big X-wing community in Canada, and they're <laughs> all here for Gold Squadron. And we know you're not coming to us, <laughs> but, but I'm going to be going anyway. That doesn't count oh, as coming. my trip. I'm coming to Canada, Do you but have your that passport? doesn't count. Um, it's actually processing. It's it's getting done. Oh, it's getting done. I need to figure out. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> uh, one of these trips that I'm going to go to overseas, mm -hmm. I would love to take my wife. Yeah, you know she you she it out. she's re I mean let's be honest she's the real MVP of Gold Squadron podcast because she's the rock that allows you to get everything done. Co correct. Yeah, 
I have an understanding wife as well. Yeah, I mean, she she's absolutely amazing, and I would love to surprise her and be like, "Hey, we're going to blank," and or "I'm going to blank, and you're coming with me. Let's go." Yeah, let's go. Oh. Is that another 400 patrons? I hope not. No, 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 absolutely not. That's, I can get you four or five. I'll try. Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're moving some ships here. Quad jumper looks like he's probably going to bump. Oh no, I said mark him, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going? Oh, fun. Oh, something's going on. Oh, turn, turn, turn. What overseas events are happening this summer? That's really what I need to know. You left out Salt, Salt Squadron. I left out Salt Squadron. Someone was saying the Bearded Bandits in Newfoundland. <laughs> there, we've got, uh, I mean, we've got so many groups around. We've got Grand River, Grand River X-Wing there here with two guys. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the, and Durham region has a great group. You know, we've got Gonk Squadron in Guelph. We've got tons of groups all over Canada. All right, so we got the pre-move uh, boost here from Sabine. She's got all her all her stuff. If you go to Europe, you're gonna crimp first Earth style. Say that again. If okay. you go to Europe, you're gonna crimp first Earth style. No, no, that's fine. Oh, look at this! And this beautiful positioning positioning from Joe, just keeping arcs on things. Um, rotating out his hurt ships. Oh, no, his hurt ship died. Mm -hmm. Trying to get uh, old Terok into strip tokens and uh, kill something before he goes. All right. So boo, um, linking into the focus. Uh, Joe's got to try to get some points on the board here. All right, second focus for Jan. Four forward, zoom in, making sure to get some space away from that zealot. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to be taking range one shots from that thing, especially that the chain, the exchange there isn't even because mm -hmm. you still get that Concord on. Um, so it's pretty good. But what, what's rough here is you re when you have a moldy crow title like that, you need to get multiple shots on target on Jan, right? So you're sp you got to ablate through mm -hmm. all those focus tokens, get them spending it. Get him pushing it out. And here's Luke just bombing in. Wow. He's going to try and come in and delete something. Yep. I mean, he has shots currently on the quad jumper. I mean, you could get shots pretty easily. You don't have – Ultarock doesn't have you in arc right now. But he can't reposition here. His S-foils are open. So – but barrel rolling would lead to him. Yeah, I think uh, you I just – I think he's I think pretty you stay. blocked. I think you stay where you are right now. Leave Do it be. you? I don't think he has a shot on him. Luke, there's no one's going to shoot Luke. No, that, unless he's well, debating Terox uh, arc there. If they're, you know, the mm -hmm. camera angles, you know, not showing us, you know, a true angle and, and you know. You also got to think about next in. next turn, right? Next turn options. He's moving the target lock. Now he's staying there. He's going to be in Janoris's arc. He's going to get to roll that extra die. He's going to do four dice at range two at uh, red one there. There you go. People want me to throw throw a Twitch poll up for where, where we're going. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the poll on my Patreon as mm -hmm. the patrons are the ones that got me there. Yeah, yeah they can so decide. So they're, they're going to be the ones to decide. Uh, at least maybe be like a vote. Like I, I want to I make it like really cool and maybe prop, like take some propositions from the different countries. Mm -hmm. like the Council of Poland, has. this is our offer. The <laughs> Council of Australia, <laughs> this is our offer. Those Polish players are something else. They have a fantastic community. All the guys from Poland I've met here today have been just uh, fantastic, honorable guys. Like they yep. just there's uh, one guy who's been flying a tie swarm. Maybe we can get him on later. It's just been woof. Maybe one tie swarm, Dion. Please one, please just one. one. That sounds like hell for me though. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> I'll help. I'll help. I love I love tie swarms. You all can right. do all the markers for that game. All right, hit deal. Uh, hit crit. Coming in. Oh, he barrel rolled to shoot Terok. Okay. And he has a focus. Is he going to spend it? He's got his, Oh, sorry. This is Luke. This is against Luke. 
Mm -hmm. He has to spend the force. No damage onto Luke Skywalker there. Mm -hmm. So Luke didn't have any. Or sorry, uh, yeah, Luke didn't have any green tokens to strip. Mm -mm. Yeah. And there's Jan's uh, ability. It's gonna be five dice into Old Terok here. Oof. No, no modifiers. I mean. Three hits and a crit, that's pretty solid. I mean, that's a dead terror. Concordon, focus. Uh, but focus, but he's still going to be taking uh, still taking a crit. Is it direct? We'll find out in a it moment. It looks like a fuel leak, but it's fuel not going to matter. Fuel leak is so brutal, Dion. It is. In this matchup, uh, actually, it does, doesn't matter because the next one kills him anyway. So <laughs> doesn't 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 matter. You're not wrong. All righty. Two hits there versus one evade, and I think... Uh, that's going to be, yep. Poof. Dead to rock. He was old, and he just took that last Back step. Back in my day, <laughs> Luke didn't have barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, Joe trying to see where he can make up some points here. Ooh, well, this, nope, this is... This uh, is Sabine still, right? This is Sabine. Sabine, sorry, I saw Joe pull out the... Ever, uh, you know. Spend it for three. No one shoots him. No one's shooting at Sabine, so... That's, oh, uh, those are blanks. Those That's are, two, two focus and a blank. Those uh, are whammies. Oh, there one we more go. die and spending Spend the it. focus. All right, no whammies. We're good. Not bad, not bad. Ooh. Quad mm -hmm. jumper reaching. Range three, yeah. Joe, that gets there. He's got, he, just, he, just wants, he wants to make sure. Wants to make all sure. Right, all right. And there's nothing wrong with being careful. Quad jumper. One hit. One hit. Look at all the dice that Jan's going to roll. Got it. Fine. All right, and looking at that side arc, that is going to be in as well. Wow, that's a wide side arc. One hit. One hit. Sorry, that was the... Uh, that's the fang. That was the fang, sorry. It looked like but he was uh, lining up the side arc. Yeah. They've been measuring for each other, so that got me confused. And Joe, I think, was checking to see sort of where things were. Mm -hmm. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and update some things um, in-house, in-house yeah, in updates. So I think this is this is looking pretty... Grim dark here for the uh, poor scum folks. Uh, we'll have to see. Luke's pretty skookum. Uh, that's uh, means mighty powerful <laughs> for your uh, East Coast boys. I've, I've never heard this word before. I was just like, oh, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. <laughs> it's powerful. powerful. Mighty. 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 Skookum. So, uh, I mean, Joe's in a real tough spot. You know, number two's stressed. Bam, that dial's down. He's got to do a green. Probably going to do a two coming around. Um, I don't know what he's going to do with the quad jumper. Luke can go wherever, do whatever he wants with the supernatural reflexes. Um, and he just doesn't have a quad jumper to put him on uh, on the debris right now. Mm-hmm. So, number, maybe he might come in for the block with number one, but with how maneuverable the two ships sort of in the middle are with uh, Sabine <laughs> and Luke, that... Uh, Um, I I don't know I don't I don't see uh, a way to sort of get his three remaining ships together fast enough yeah to sort of like take advantage of uh, where Jan is and what's going on with her so I mean we did see the one come in try to like block up that lane get a come in to get a shot on uh, on Jan and keep her mm -hmm. away from the others but I don't know if it's enough at this point yeah like right now we just we're waiting for you know this Fang. You know, the problem is that Joe hasn't been in spots to deal damage with all of his ships at the same time on a single target. Mm -hmm. And that's what he really needs to do with this type of uh, swarmy swarmy flying. He's been kind of uh, very separated. And it looks like Joe is, is trying now to create a trap for Jan. Jan most likely coming through here. And the, the plan is to try to converge with her. I think so, yeah. I mean, that's his best bet, unless Sabine, for some reason, uh, pulls uh, to the right here. Now, Jan is 56. That would push him close to uh, even with Paul. Um, I think that, that's going to be a, a good uh, that's a, a good strategic decision. Mm -hmm. Barrel um, roll here. Tactically, I'm not sure if, if the quad jumper or the, the fangs are going to be able to get in there. And uh, 
do the damage they need to do this round or maybe even the next without suffering from one bank it does fit face to face that zealot and sabine and drops the focus of aid focus of aid so we should get uh, some of these updated uh blue blue ones on the on the jack yeah. and the red one is up here on the this fang People asking about, are we doing any giveaways? Oh, yes, we are. We're going to be doing them for round four, five, and six today. It's happening. And Kyle from Salt Squadron is asking if I'm going to come help him out. He's running an event in November. And uh, I can't pronounce it. It's like, <coughs> is the, uh, the name of the event. And, uh, yeah, I would uh, love to come help you out. All right, so here goes Luke. A super... No, no. Is that just a hard? Is that a hard turn? A hard two. Yeah. Uh, just, just coming back around, take the turn it. off. He flipped the S foil so he can perform the boost this turn. Go ahead, grab the focus. Uh, official Top Gun. No, I do not have a list of cameras or, or uh, of all my gear. That's uh, proprietary information. <laughs> I'm serious. Like I, I. I've spent a lot of time putting it together, and if you want, uh, this is just for anybody. I, actually, I get this question a lot, and it's always really a really awkward conversation. It's like, hi. <laughs> it's like, uh, so get a camera, yeah, and a tripod, and yeah, you know, work yeah. it out. I'll, I'll work with people. I, just, I don't publish my whole my whole my whole gear. I work with people. Um, if you want want to get some stuff done, two blanks there from Luke at long range. Plink, plink, plink. Nothing. Here comes Jan powering up Sabine. Sabine's going to drop four dice into that, that, uh, that fang. Five thing. dice. Five dice. Oh, five Eugene. dice. Oh, my gosh. Right. Oh, my goodness, Dion. All righty. So decision, decision. Does he want to spend the focus? He's debating. He's got focus evade. He knows he's got a range one shot coming in. Will the greed set in? It will not. This is where Juke would be really helpful. Spends yeah. it. But again, he doesn't have space for it. Yep. But there's, there's no. That there's one's no not fat. free. That one's not free. This is a lean <laughs> list. There's, there's no fat on this. Nope. Paul's like. Uh, Essentially, Paul will just pull out in 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 regular extended play without these yeah. special rules, where you get the free stuff. Um, he would just take out Leia. Right. It's like a speedwalker. There's just zero fat on yeah. the body. All righty. Here goes range one. Two hits and a crit. Oof. That's into Sabine. Spends mm. the evade, takes a crit. I think her shields are down, so shields are down this will Sabine. stick. We'll find out what that it could is. Have, that could have been rough for Paul. Damage engine. All hard turns are red. That's not huge for Sabine, though, because she's usually doing greens to relieve the stress. She's always on the greens. Yeah. yeah. And takes away some options, possibly. We'll see. The quad jumper looks like it's got a shot. Also at Sabine. Range two. One hit. Respond. Got it. Fine. Uh, it's funny. This is one of the few times somebody's got a damage engine. I wasn't like, oh crap. <laughs> like very, yeah. but most of the time, damage engine can be really, really hurtful. Like, uh, all right. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need to do the hard ones. Yep. The hard twos. Man. I was thinking he might continue to pick away at uh, at Jan Ors. Ugh. Oh, man. I think you're right. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, Joe try to get in and try to get all guns on uh, on Jan Orris this round. And if he gets Jan Orris off the board and Sabine's at half, he's working his way up, you know, he just has to, you know, not lose anything else for a while. Right? <laughs> D is so loud. You could, you could hear him in the background for sure. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is... Uh, I'm trying to find the right word because I was saying murderous row because we've got 96 of the best yeah, action players in the world great. minus you and I here today. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. That's just like a, a unit of mercenaries just like yeah. just killing each other. It's just, it's, it's something else. Every game, like down even in the, in the salt mines, we've got national champions and system open winners and like it's... Uh, I don't know. You can't feel bad yeah. about losing games today. No, yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of good players here, and uh, even with the funky format, it's still you know still awesome. It's great. I love the funky. I, I like 
challenging players. You know, if you want to sit there with your 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 medalist and you want to practice it, you know, six times a night, you wanna you wanna get everything in, you wanna just like reps, 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 reps. Mm-hmm. That's fine. You wanna play one list for a year, fine. Right? But I really like it when FFG says we have these players who know the game super well. Mm-hmm. Let's challenge them. Let's change things up on them. Let's let's force them to fly new ships. Let's push them around a little bit. Let's force them to flex some of those list building muscles. And uh, All right, so we got the two forward here from the Fang. Yeah, it's oh, it's, yeah. it's just it. And I think the the flip side. I will tell you, like for myself, I know I know that I'm a bad list builder. <laughs> I know that I'm bad. I I 100% know. Um, so. While it does present a challenge for me, it I'm glad I'm glad to see it because it was going to force me to get better, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, opportunity uh, to just just become a better player. Not, nothing wrong with that. I really like this move from Joe, grabbing. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to try and grab. He's going all in on Jan right now. Uh, do you guys want to measure that? Okay, we're just gonna. It was range one. It was range one. Barrel roller off that way. Reduce it. Yeah, we got the token on there. Yep. Look, if Paul thinks it's range one, then I'm okay with that. If Paul, what Paul says <laughs> goes, he knows he knows some things about this game, right? As long as it's not the harpoon condition. No. Oh, or gosh. when he can talk to judges. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So those uh, those fangs are converging. I don't know where Jan can go to avoid taking shots unless she hard turns into one of the zealots to take away one shot. It'll be interesting for sure. Uh, what is that? 4K from Sabine. Yep. Now, we ha- do Sab- have three charges on Leia, so was yeah. she popped? Uh, yes, she was. All right. So, Leia got used there. And Luke. Supernatural boosting in. Three bank coming in behind. Wow. Zealot number two. Luke is just never where I expect him to be with supernatural reflexes. And Paul is just flying him perfectly. Yeah, he's doing he's doing a great job. Um Normal action, most likely a focus. There it is. He's got a target lock out there already on Fang number two. Hawk is most likely getting in the kill box. The Hawks do have a boost now. It's red, though. Could consider using Boosted it he, as stress. he does have two, uh, two focus already, but the evade might be better with Jan by taking the focus mm-hmm. using Jin or well, He's crew. only got one die. Oh, he's... you're right. And evade doesn't work the same way. So Yeah, doesn't add a result. It changes a die. It's it's a tough decision. Look, if a three-time world champion's taking his time to make a decision, you know it's a tough one. Yep. And he chose yeah. to take the evade. Yeah. Well, it saves you from the blank. Yeah. It means no, no matter what, one of those You're going to get at least one. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right. So, looks like Luke... Oh, sorry. Jan into the Fang at range two from the side arc. It's going to be two dice. One crit. And, oh, he has to make the decision. He spends it. He can't afford the crits. But he has Luke right Luke. behind him at range one. Five die from Luke. Yeah, it's coming. There it is. There's a stress. What if Luke was range also Fen Rao? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Fen Rao now. <laughs> Five dice. Here we go. And, um, yeah, okay. Oh, just, he's going to end up with at least four. There it is. Five hits. Right. Yeah. He's looking for it. He's going to get to change one to an evade with Konkodan. And uh, only takes, takes two. two. Takes two. Not bad. Not bad. So I've been doing a lot of comparing of Luke to, uh, in 2.0 to um, Poe in 1.0. They feel and fly very similarly. Uh, and certainly uh, Luke is a very powerful ship and very difficult to put damage on. And we've seen that this, uh, this, this, uh, this game, he's very similar to BB-8 Poe mm-hmm. flying around, always having that focus on defense, that soft focus being able to get in and do damage and now having that extra die with Jan ah just one just it's it's hurting alright so here is 
Sabine at range two. Two Probably damage. Probably the quad jumper. Uh, or is that at number one? That, yeah, that was... That's quad jumper. Yeah. Quad jumper, range three, on to uh, Jan Ors. One crit. Got it. With the evade. It, it was range it three, and it's range three. Yeah. So now we've got two fang shots. Fang number two, red two. He's debating oh. whether to shoot. Wh which one first? Which one first? You have one with a focus, one without. So that was the unfocused one for one. Spend, the, spend, spend the evade. Oh, no, because you, if you blank out next time, you need the evade next time. True. Very true, very true. Spend the focus. There you Two go. Two hits and a crit. Could get at least half points here. And he does. He's going to get hit crit. Hit. The, the crit is... Show us, Paul. Something pilot. Damaged engine, I think. I'll take a look. Let me update the... Uh, Overlay here, one, two. And would so you, an interesting thing we've seen this game, right, if I can... Uh, if go for it. Yeah, okay. We had Jan Orr start here. You know, she's come all the way around, and her arc's always been pointed in. She's never once had to move it. Nope. Nope. I mean, with, with that, that range one to uh, zero to three ability, I mean, yeah. it's huge. That's great planning on, on Paul's part, sort of keeping... That's an action, if they're going to list this lean, mm -hmm. that action efficiency is certainly something you really need to lean on. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you don't have to spend an action to turn a turret, yeah. just don't. Exactly. <laughs> Especially, he needs to stress, uh, take the stress in order to use her ability so he can't afford the link actions into them. And I love the behavior that that change forces ships with turrets to, to do, mm -hmm. right? The behavior that they exhibit where they end up in these big sweeping sort of movements across yep. the board. You sort of hug the boardage and come around. It's uh, very predictable. Oh my gosh. What a game. Paul picking apart Joe Desmond's list. Yeah, he, he is doing a great job. Piece by piece We by gotta piece. take a look at that crit. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Tough funk. There goes the uh, Dion's headset. Oh my gosh! I can't even pick a. It is in fact a damage engine. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. That's two shiny pennies to death. <laughs> See, I, I gotta, I gotta go all, I gotta get all the American pennies I can. We don't have pennies in Canada. It just makes sense not to have pennies. Just saying, folks. All right. Now we've got. Um, are we going to get another tractor beam here? It'd be interesting to see where this goes. Forward. So he's pushing around Jan, trying to get her off the board. That would bring him into the lead if he can kill Jan Ors. Um, but I'm afraid Joe's probably going to lose a ship or two this round. Um, red two on two hull, and the Jakku Gunrunner is hurting. So I would imagine that it's going to... Oh, interesting. I did not expect Red 2 to go down board. All right. Interesting. We've got uh, Jan with Tractor Beam forward, Dion, by okay. uh, the Okay, yeah, Jackie sorry. I was, uh, some, some of the people here were talking to me. All right, Tractor Beamed forward. Yeah, and then we've got uh, the fangs splitting up. Okay, let me go ahead and work on those markers as they are a little bit all over the place right now. Um, so... so one is is on still on one essentially. Yep. And then two is the the oh, lower the fang. Yep. Perfect. All right. Now we've got a little one banky there. No, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's right in right in the face of uh, zealot number one. And zealot number one did not boost. Right, just had he boosted, he would have concord face off. Yeah. Whether that's better or not than a than a focus, who knows? Well. Oh, or is it is it primary? Yes, front it's arc only. Front arc yes, only. So actually, arc it wouldn't only. count. No, yeah. never mind. Don't listen to me. It's fine. But uh, you know, Paul being very careful with his maneuvers with the hawk, trying to think about any, all the positions that Joe could tractor, mm -hmm. and then uh, Luke coming in here again, s remaining in Jan's arc. He's gonna get that extra attack die. Where he's gonna work on deleting Fang number two. Fang number two has. Two hull and uh, 
Luke is going to be rolling two dice more than the Fang has. He will get the Concordia Dawn face off as he is in Luke's arc. And we have two hits, more hits than the Fang has dice. So even though he rolled all paint there, I think that's a dead ship. Poof. Now Fang's off the board. There was a whole stack of crits in there, but I don't even think <laughs> they, they don't. They don't out. matter. <laughs> All righty. So that's, you know, I think that pretty much, you know, uh, seals the game, right? I mean, we were pretty sure that, uh, that that Paul was in the driver's seat for this one, but without having those three dice attack ships to, um, to do work, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard. I mean, Joe essentially jousted into uh, Paul's list. Mm -hmm. And uh, was like, well, I'm throwing a bunch of dice and I'm tractor beams and I'm going to, I'm going to win. And then, off went uh, Sabine and Luke just getting out of arcs and dodging out and, you know, avoiding avoiding those big attack dice, those big those big punches that Joe was swinging. Mm -hmm. I mean, even now, he's still... Jan's, Jan's hurting, but she's not dead, and that's where he needs her to be. And that, that's what matters, right? Yeah, she's he, not he, dead. He needed her to be dead last round. So here comes some um, big attacks by Paul. More evades by Joe, but uh, that gunrunner is getting... Smoking. It's low on health, for sure. All right. It's going to spend it. Two hits and a crit. That's on... Uh, that's on the, into Jan. I think that's going to get... She's going to eat it there. Jan is down. That's still a very close game. Uh, you know, Joe needs... Joe's got four minutes to kill Sabine. Yep. Which I'm not gonna lie down. Probably possible. It, it um, can be. He's he needs to get so he has to turn around. That's easy. We can actually just remove remove the markers now that we have one quad jumper, one fang left. Um, he's got to kill. He's got to get he's, turned around. I think he's gonna back up. But that he puts you right in the right in the fire line of 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 Luke, and he has no way to like back up and actually do anything useful. And then you feed Talon roll. And you Hail Mary. You ch <laughs> Hail Mary, I like that. The uh, Quad Jumper has a sloop now, doesn't it? Maybe. I haven't looked at the dial too close recently. I believe it does. It gets to do all the things. <laughs> has definitely has a lot of things. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. I want to see how Joe Desmond tries to win the game right here. Yeah. And here's the thing, right? With the half points on everything, you always have a chance. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's... it's. Yeah, there's the Talon roll. There's the roll, there's he, the roll. He wants that shot. He's going to throw them bones. What are we going to get? A hard one. Tractor beam Luke. All right, okay. Where is he going? Okay, okay. You know, is tractor beam a... Oh, he's gonna, just going to focus. He's not going to track No. Oh, he's got the... Can only focus or perform an action. Yeah, crit. that might be the crit he has. No, we missed that one. Should have backed up. <laughs> beep, beep. Beep, beep. I'm a truck. So yeah, the, the the story of this game, I think, is going to be really. We got to see Paul Heaver fly Luke Skywalker. You know, we got to see all mm. the awesome maneuvering, Absolutely. seeing the decision making of when to flip the S foils, do the supernatural boost Boost barrel rolls. Action to a focus. No, he didn't. He didn't move. He just did a one bank focus. Mm -hmm. Just the uh, slow roll in. Stay range three. Well, that Jakku Gunrunner's got two hull left. Mm -hmm. He can probably just take it off the board with. Uh, yep. Here's a barrel roll. Might be a K turn here. Well, he's still got Leia. I forget where we at with where we're at with the charges. It might be back to three. It's two right now. Uh, it's two right now. So next yeah. turn he'll. Uh, next turn. Next uh, turn we if, get the shenanigans. If there is one. Uh, this might be a Talon roll. It is. Interesting. <laughs> Zach, for you, I would. You know I would. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Zach Rayburn, head of OP, coming and joshing us a little bit. Thank him for all his help <laughs> at Worlds. Uh, we had to move our setup three times. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we got Luke Skywalker firing here on the Fang. Oh, my goodness. Luke Skywalker. Three die attack. Nothing. 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 Whiffs. He could have used the force, so he decided not to. I don't think he can or should in this. He's no, he shouldn't. He had no way to regenerate it this turn. Uh, he's not getting, he might get shot with the... Sabine shooting uh, probably the quad jumper. That sounds about right. The quad jumper can go down. The zealous recruits can be more difficult. Spends the focus for three. Yeah, because he, he, he wants it, it. Yeah, two. Takes one. Jakku Gunrunner's dead. It was only on, we had it on three hull, but it was on two. We knew it was on two. Oh, okay. Here we go. Fang fighter into. Nope. Well, she takes one. Sabrine Wren survives. We've got 20 seconds left on the clock. I think we're about four or five seconds behind. They're going to, yep. they got to get their dials. They're choosing dials. They move, they're moving into the next uh, phase. That should be any, any, any second now they'll be calling time. X-Wing players, that is time in the round. X-Wing players, that is time in the round. Finish yeah. your turn and report your scores. We have a one-hour break. And round four will begin at three. One hour break. Oh my goodness! But I mean, supernatural reflexes, Luke. I mean, I, I, there's no way in one turn you can get get him off the board. So, uh, Sabine Wren, I believe, is on one hull. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I uh that's an interesting position for the uh Fang. Yep. He's not even going for the he's going for the block and not for the kill. Good game, Calling handshake. It right there. there we All go. right, so Joe gets to make sure that his Last Fang Fighter dies, gets a hold hold on, didn't lose all 200 points. Now, let's look at the score, because the score is not exactly as what it seems. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, Paul actually scored, what is this? So Boba's four, 156, mm -hmm. right? Future. Uh, and that means Joe actually scored minus eight. It would be 101, is that right? Uh, that, that seems right. That math seems correct to me. Okay, I... I'm not, not the strongest in math, you know. Me neither, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys all for, for watching. They are giving us a one-hour break from now. Let's go ahead to the uh, the face cameras. So they can see, see uh, our, our pretty faces. Our pretty faces. There we are. hey -o. So we're going to be here uh, back in one hour for round four. We're going to leave the stream going. That way people know that we are going to be coming back. We'll be here. Um, I want to remind you guys of a couple things. First, our sponsor for this weekend is Curled Paw Creatives. Thank you so much for their support all through the Super, uh, the, excuse me, the System Open Series. Use the coupon code Coruscant18 for 15% off of all their X-Wing things. There's no minimum order. So whether you want one thing or all the things, you can get it 15% off. You know, you know, sometimes you're like, there's those kind of odd coupons where like only if like $30 to $50. And you're like, but I... And there's like no combination of things you could put in your cart. Only in America, do you? Right. It, it, it happens all the time on when I'm <laughs> shopping online. It's like, this coupon is worthless. There's nothing. Uh, actual 15% off. Thank you to our Twitch Prime subscribers. That's all you guys clicking on there. That's fantastic. We're going to give you guys some shout outs here in a little bit. And thank you to our patrons, our 400 patrons. We made it to 400. We're going overseas, we're going somewhere. Uh, we'll figure that out here uh, after this event. But here we go. I want, I want to show you guys. Um, the, the number 400 there it is $400 it's fantastic it's $400 400 people 400 people um, which is awesome so thank you all to all you guys support uh, we'll figure out where we're going in a little bit and uh, 
Yeah, I mean, th these three games have been awesome. Oh, they've, they've all, been all come down to the wire. And this Good one, choices, I, I think this one has been maybe the most one-sided, but it was, it, there was never a... Uh, I can't say Joe flew poorly. You know. No, Joe did not, pour, not at all. Not at all. So we'll be back in an hour. We're going to get some food. We're going to rehydrate. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Thank you, for Devin, for coming down from uh, Canada to help me out. You'd just be sitting. You'd be sitting at home doing nothing. I'd be watching the stream, Dion. That's right. Well, thank you so much for. I'd uh, be yelling. The, I'd be saying the exact same stuff, but just at a screen where no one could hear me. All righty. Um, and right. actually, you know, before I forget, before I forget, uh, next four rounds, round four, five, and six, we're doing giveaways. Okay. Three rounds. We're both bad at math. Don't worry. What I what did I just say? You said four rounds. Uh, next three. <laughs> <laughs> the next three rounds are going to be doing giveaways. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm tired, man. Um, four, five, and rounds four, five, and six. We'll be giving stuff away to both to patrons. We're going to be giving stuff away to our Twitch Prime subscribers, and we're also going to give away some stuff to just random people. So, uh, all kinds of things, cards, stuff. Yeah, sounds great. We're you. giving away free stuff. So that's going to be tons of fun. Join us. We'll be back at uh, let's see, three fifty. Is when we'll be back. Sounds great. <laughs> and yes, uh, I'll make sure to tell D that all you guys uh, heard him yelling during his games. <laughs> we'll be back. He's loud.